Okay. Um, so to what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you guys how to solve this system, um, solve the system by substitution. Now, previously, remember we talked about solving systems by graphing. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we're going to do our solving by substitution. Now, remember when we were talking about substitution previously on some of the other problems I spoke to you last class about. Remember what you're doing is when you can use substitution when you have a variable that's solved. You have the value of the variable. So in this two equations, I, have, I know the value of my variable y is equal to 3x plus 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that to my advantage. And what I'm going to use is I'm going to say, well, in this second equation, rather than using the value of y, see it? Rather than using the value of y, what I can use is I can use the value of y, which is 3x plus 8. So what I'm going to do is I can say I can substitute in the value of y in for my variable in the other equation. So I can say 5x plus 2. And instead of writing 2 times y, which would be that second equation, I can write times 3x plus, um, I can write x, 3x plus 8 plus 8 equals 5. So does everybody see what I did? All I simply did is I took the value of my variable, it doesn't matter which variable, and I took that value of it and I substituted it in for the variable in the other equation. Okay? So then, once I have that, you can see now I have an equation with the same variable. So now it's going to be something I can solve for. So remember when we have a number multiplied by parentheses, we need to use the distributive property. So therefore, I have 5x plus 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times 8 is a positive 16 equals 5. All right? The next step I want to do, guys, is remember when you have your variable on the same side of your equation, not on opposite sides. On opposite sides, you need to do the add and subtracting. But when they're on the same side, you just combine like terms. 5x plus 6x is 11x plus 16 equals 5. Now it's a two-step equation. I need to get my, rid of my 16 and get rid of my 11. The 16 is adding to my variable, so I subtract the 16 on both sides. Now I have 11x equals negative 11. Divide by 11 on both sides. x equals a negative 1. Right? Yeah. Okay. So since my x now equals negative 1, remember guys, when we were talking about the graphing, remember there was an x and a y coordinate, right? Their intersection point intersected at a given point. x comma y. So if I know what the value of my x, now what I need to do is substitute that value back into one of my equations. Now a lot of students want to substitute into the second equation because that's what you substituted your first variable for, right? It makes sense. Plug, plug negative 1 in for this x. But what I'm telling you is it doesn't matter which equation you sub substitute your value in for. And your top equation is probably easier because if you plug in a negative 1 in for there, all you have to do is multiply these and you get the value of y. So let's do it that way. So I have y equals 3. I don't need to write in 3 times x because now x equals negative 1. Plus 8. So therefore, y equals 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 8. y equals 5. Okay? Everybody got it? Any questions? Oh, well, that, that's it. You can write it as a coordinate point. Like if we were graphing it, that's all you guys have to do. I mean, when you're simplifying, yes. That's really funny. Any last questions? No? Okay. 